What is up guys and welcome to another installment of Tech Depth Teardown. Today we will be tearing down the Samsung S23 Ultra, the flagship Samsung, expensive phone, new it'll run you somewhere in the ballpark of $1,200. Of course we are utilizing the usual suspects as far as tools go. Isopropyl alcohol 99%, suction cup, torque screwdriver, and thankfully we're only going to need one type of screwdriver here today, and a couple of spudging tools of course, and as well as our heating mat. So if you're here because you broke your phone, your Samsung S23 Ultra, and you're trying to learn how to repair it, we have all the parts you need at techdep.com. We also do mail-in repairs and we ship around the world, one click, get it quick, to your door. One of the nice things about this repair, as you will see right now, there are 17 screws fixed inside this phone and all of them are 1.5 millimeter Phillips. So as opposed to the Apple model, we're going to need to have as many screwdrivers as you can get your hands on. In this teardown or this repair, you are only going to need one type of screw and I always feel like those camera panels are looking like I just said something appalling. Anyway, uh, this phone has quite a bit of glue. There is also uh, some extra adhesive in the middle of the panel uh, affixed to the microphone. It does not have glue that extends to the camera bezels as opposed to as was the case in the S22. Uh, but overall, things are not that different from even back in the Note days. Tearing this down is pretty similar to what it's always been for Samsung. And here you see us getting started with the various flex cables that attach that NFC antenna to the motherboard, that sandwich board. And one thing to note, uh, I actually saw this in the Jerry Rig Everything video of a similar teardown. If you come from the bottom, you can nick that flex cable that connects the LCD to the motherboard. And there we have our wireless charging pad included with the NFC wireless antenna. So there you see that flex cable at the bottom that attaches the main board to the LCD and it's easy to nick that and that would be an expensive fix so you don't want to do that. And now we are getting to work on that bottom speaker. That bottom speaker also linear haptic feedback I believe they call it. Uh, just the vibration motor, the thing that makes the phone vibrate and gives you those unique feels for all the different interactions you have with the device. There you have the lower loudspeaker and removing that lower loudspeaker exposes the daughter board and those speakers do have those little foam balls in them that make them fill up a room a little better, give them a little more sound. There we are disconnecting the battery cable, that LCD cable that I talked about, that middle cable connects the main board to the subboard. You can actually see it's pretty clearly notated. And then there is another cable to the left of that, though it's kind of hard to see right now, but that also connects the main board to the subboard. And there is that subboard. SIM tray intact, charging port intact. Charging port has that little rubber gasket to aid with waterproofing. And quick note on the topic of the SIM tray, the SIM card and the S Pen were both removed before this teardown. There is that top speaker. It almost looks like a front facing camera. It's not. It's just a panel that houses those little foam balls that give the speaker that extra sound. So now we're working on the last remaining cables to that motherboard and those cameras. Of course, those cameras are the star of the show here. We've got the periscope lens as well as that 200 megapixel main camera that they added a couple extra degrees. I think it's 2x um, extra wiggle room as far as stabilization goes. And the motherboard is a sandwich board. You could see briefly the little separation between the two boards. And I believe it is a Qualcomm Snapdragon Gen 2, some kind of custom chip specifically for this phone. That there is a 5G antenna, one of two 5G antennas in the Samsung S23 Ultra. And now we're going to work on the second of those two 5G antennas. And there she goes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure why Samsung added two 5G antennas in this phone, why it needs two. If anybody knows, please feel free to let us know in the comments below. And there goes that flex cable that connects the 
main board to the LCD. And a lot has been made about the new pull tabs for the battery in this phone. And funny enough, we actually didn't utilize those pull tabs, which we decided afterwards was a mistake. We're just kind of used to them not working so great when we try to do Apple teardowns and repairs. So we decided not to do it, but ultimately probably a mistake. This is the front facing camera and it is glued to that aluminum frame. So it requires a bit of digging. I suppose you could call this spudging, although I'm not sure that once you break out the X-Acto knife, it's still called spudging. But at any rate, there is that 12 megapixel camera. And with that, we are finished. So hope you enjoyed the content. Please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And head on over to techdep.com. We do mail-in repairs, we ship parts, we do data recovery, we ship all over the world. One click, get it quick, and I will see you next time.